Hi, it's John here. Welcome to another series of Praying Together. Over the next week and a half, each day a video will be released in the morning, encouraging us all to pray with a specific focus. This will help us to all be praying for the same thing on the same day. We're going to finish on Wednesday the 15th of September, and on that day in the evening, the missional communities, our small groups, will join together so that we can uh, finish the series by meeting together to pray. Um, if you're not part of a missional community, you're still welcome to join in. Please do get in touch to make sure we can give you the relevant details to join us. Before I talk about the specific focus for today, I wanted to encourage us all in the area of praying and to spur us on to pray together. In his book, How to Pray, uh, Pete Gregg talks about the butterfly effect. And this is what he says. The American mathematician Edward Lorenz famously postulated that minor atmospheric disturbances such as the flapping of a butterfly's wings can eventually alter entire weather patterns. Shouldn't we expect a similar butterfly effect from prayer? What chain of events might be set into motion by the very next word you say to God? Who knows what could become reality in Chipping Norton Community Church, in Chipping Norton Town, in Oxfordshire, in the nation and in the nations because of our journey in prayer. And prayer is a journey, one that at times we walk with ourselves and God, but it's also a journey that at times we walk together presenting our corporate concerns and requests to the Father. Let us journey together in prayer over the next week and a half. Let us join in praying together and who knows where that might take us. So as we start today, let us focus on the new season we have entered into and are entering into. We've had a change of leadership and employment and we're continuing to walk out of lockdown. With those things in mind, we're going to be praying on different days for our outreach projects and activities and also praying for workers for the harvest. And as we do that, God may well point out what he wants uh, us to be doing and where he wants us to be, um, uh, both individually as well as corporately. Um, the verse we're thinking about today is Galatians 6, 9, uh, which says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Today, thank God for the new season that we're in. Pray that as we plan and undertake all our out outreach activities, we would not grow weary in doing good, that we would not give up. Pray that we would reap a harvest in all the outreach activities that we undertake. Have a great day today and thank you for joining us all in praying together.